What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today I've got a video of what I would describe as the ultimate college dorm room theater or kind of student living room tour. This makes a great experience for playing games, watching TV, movies, sports, and stuff like that. And in this video, I'm also gonna talk about some great pieces of home tech for students as well. So with all my selections, I've tried to pick things that are very practical and coming at a price point that is relatively budget, but I didn't just go for the cheapest items out there. I think with these types of student videos, value is the most important thing to keep in mind because you want something that can last you for many years to come and is somewhat future proof, but still comes in at a price point that doesn't have you paying for additional features that you don't exactly need at the moment. If you guys want to win one item from this video, just make sure you follow me over on Instagram at justin.tse and drop your Instagram username down in the comments section below. So the first thing in kind of the living room setup is what houses every single thing and it is called the IKEA Fiabo TV stand. The look is definitely love or hate it, but there's a few key features that I believe makes it a very good option. So for starters, it kind of has that mesh finish which allows you to house a lot of things inside of it, including your soundbar, allowing the sound to play through perfectly fine. You can also have a router inside of it and the back is completely exposed allowing you to have cables and everything that you need to plug in very easily. I think ventilation is also a very important thing to keep in mind, especially for electronics such as game consoles. Overall, when it comes to size, I think this one should fit pretty comfortably in most places and have like a 43 or even a larger TV, but it definitely doesn't come in at a size that is way too big. As for the TV, the one that I have is from TCL, and I think for the price point, this is probably one of the better options that you're going to find. At just under $200, this is a 43-inch 4K TV that has HDR compatibility and also smart TV built in thanks to Roku. I've seen some very good TVs as well as some very bad ones, and I find that gaming seems to be the best way to expose the flaws of often cheap TVs. This one right here though actually looks really solid. The contrast is there, it is 4K so it is future proof, and it also has HDR compatibility with certain consoles. So I really think it does have all the key fundamentals for a great TV for many years to come. I think a 43 inch size is gonna be a sweet spot for a lot of students out there and 120 hertz is also great to see. Another great thing that I really like to see nowadays is stuff like Roku or Android TV built into TVs. And this one right here with TCL has Roku. This makes it easy to watch TV shows and movies without having to go ahead and plug in your device or purchase a separate streamer. So you can go ahead and download from a suite of apps based on the streaming platforms you use, but the ones that I pretty much find myself using are Netflix and YouTube. I think for under $200, this is kind of the perfect TV that I think a lot of students are really going to enjoy. As for a gaming console, the one that I have here in this setup is the Xbox One S All Digital Edition. This right here has one terabyte of internal storage to download all of your favorite games, and you also have the option to stream in 4K whether it's Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon. I personally do download 100% of my games digitally for the past couple years now, but I know not everyone does that, so if you still want to use a physical disc, you can go ahead and buy the regular Xbox One S. With just how big gaming has expanded over the past few years, I know a lot of students have been not doing their homework because they've been playing Fortnite and stuff. So even though buying a gaming console might not be the best idea, I think it really does bring the entire setup together, especially if you have many roommates. A soundbar isn't necessarily something that you need 100% of the time, but if you're really into listening to music or just want to enhance the experience of audio coming from your TV and multimedia, then here's a good option. The LG SK-1 can be found for under $60 in some cases, and this is a 40 watt two channel soundbar. It also does have Bluetooth built in, and I think it just has a very sleek look to it that is a perfect size for this kind of setup because it isn't too large, but it also has enough power to be a huge improvement. You also have an included remote control that allows you to change the input, the power, the volume, and stuff like that. By connecting optical to your TV as well as Bluetooth to your phone, then you have kind of a speaker that lives in your living room. When it comes to security, I know this is more important to some than to others, but I think at $20, you just really can't go wrong at all. The Wisecam V2 is my pick, and whether it's your snacks you don't want anyone to steal from the fridge, or just taking your stuff if you're living in an area that has a lot of people walking around, at this price point, I think to protect your space as students, this is probably the best option out there. This is a SEMO sensor and has a resolution of up to 1080p with a 110 degree field of view as well as two-way audio and also micro SD card support to save up to 14 days of footage. This is able to detect motion as well and through the app you're able to access and kind of monitor everything very easily. Another piece of tech that I think a lot of students want to enjoy but it often comes in at a price point that isn't affordable is a smart Wi-Fi LED light bulb. Even though Philips Hue is the one that I personally like the most, it does come in at a price point often at around $60 a bulb, which is just way too much. One of the ones that I can recommend is a company called Gosin, and this is a smart LED bulb that has up to 16 million colors and is Wi-Fi controlled. The app does get the job done, the light bulb is pretty bright at up to 800 lumens, and it does work with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. As for a great router, the one that I can recommend is the TP-Link Archer C7, which comes in at a price point under 60 bucks. 
This right here is a dual band AC1750 and the 2.4 gigahertz band has a speed of up to 450 megabits per second and the 5 gigahertz at 1350. Even though that is complete overkill with the addition of four 10-100-1000 gigabit ethernet ports on the back and also one USB port. Also not to forget the tri antenna. One thing that I did remember doing back when I was staying in a dorm for a film camp many years ago was because I had a portable router that was so powerful I paid $15 a week for internet and was able to sell the internet to every single person on the entire floor of the dorm. That is honestly a great way for all your friends to save money while actually earning you a pretty big profit. Helping you pay off your internet as well as the router that you just bought. If you're looking for a good wireless charging pad, one of which that I've used for a while now is from the brand Anchor. This one I have right here comes in at a cost well under $20 and it charges it up to 10 watts. There's definitely a lot of wireless chargers out there that you can pick from now, whether it's design, quality, and performance. But I think at this price point, if you just need a good wireless charger, then this is the best option to go with. Before we head out though, I want to give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, China Tech City by Abacus News. This is an interactive map that showcases all of the latest tech giants and companies in China at the moment and news about each one. Some of the most notable brands include Alibaba, Xiaomi, OnePlus, DJI, as well as TikTok, which have all become very prominent brands in North America. You can go ahead and navigate the interactive map in a really cool way and click on the company that you want to know a little bit more on and check out some of the latest articles if you want to learn more. I think the overall visual experience is amazing and something that is really fun to use, but it also allows you to keep track of some of the latest tech stories coming from China. So if you guys want to go ahead and check them out, I'm going to drop a link in the description section below. 